Hi, it's Mr. Mike from the Sherburn Public Library with another episode of Storytime. Let's start out with our poem, The Round Little Snowman. Can you pretend to be round? A round little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny, and what do you suppose? The hungry little bunny, looking for some lunch, ate that snowman's carrot nose, nibble, nibble, crunch. Speaking of snowmen, let's count our snowmen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Now let's sing Ten Little Snowmen. One little, two little, three little snowmen. Four little, five little, six little snowmen. Seven little, eight little, nine little snowmen. Ten little snowmen round. Great! Now let's use our fingers to count. One little, two little, three little snowmen. Four little, five little, six little snowmen. Seven little, eight little, nine little snowmen. Ten little snowmen round. Great job. And speaking of snow, our book today is by Jan Brett, The Snowy Nap. Oh, look who's taking a nap. That's a hedgehog. Can you say hedgehog? Do hedgehogs belong in the house? I don't think so. Let's find out what happens. The Snowy Nap by Jan Brett. Now take a look. Do we see any snow? I don't see any snow yet. What's the hedgehog walking on? The green grass. Young Hedgy sniffed the chilly wind. <gasps> Sniff. <laughs> snow is on the way, he thought. I'll just take a last ramble around the farm. He did not want to miss a moment. He could barely keep his eyes open as he walked. The hens noticed at once. Time for Betty Bye! They cackled. It won't be long before you have to hibernate, and our coop will be bedazzled by icicles. In a sleepy daze, Hedgy trundled past the pond. The geese honked. Honk, honk. Goodbye until spring. We'll think of you as we play slip and slide across the pond ice. It's already starting to freeze. Hedgy came to the sheep shed. Nighty night, the sheep bod. One of the sheep had seen hedgehogs on the farm head for their cozy dens year after year as winter arrived. She also was ready to tell Hedgy what he would miss. I'll soon see the snowman Lisa makes, she said. The billy goat overheard and crunched across the frozen field to add, as usual, you will miss winter blue time when the sun sets and the snowy farm appears in every shade of blue. Look, what does the goat have on top of its head? Horns. Oh, look, who do we see next? The pigs. What sound do they make? Oink, oink. The pig watched Hedgy stop for a big yawn. <sighs> Have a good winter sleep, she oinked. 
If only I could save a few snowflakes for you. No two are alike. When the pony trotted up, Hedgie guessed what he wanted to say. Sleep well, he neighed. If you hear bells in your dreams, it will be me pulling my sleigh. That was the last straw. I don't want to sleep all winter like last year, protested Hedgie. I want to see icicles and snowmen, snowflakes and pond ice. I want to hear sleigh bells. Before Hedgie could yawn again, he decided to turn around and stay up for the night winter. The night grew frosty cold. Must stay awake, must stay awake, must stay awake to see winter. Hedgie shivered and his eyes closed. <laughs> From the farmhouse window, Lisa saw a still shape outside in the cold. Poor little hedgehog is frozen stiff, she cried. She bundled him up and brought him inside. What do we have here? It's an owl. What sound does the owl make? Hoo hoo. Lisa put Hedgie in a tea cozy and gave him a spot by the window. That was a close call, she said. A snowstorm is on the way. You better stay in the house and warm up. <gasps> to Hedgie's delight, the next morning he saw the world outside shimmering with snow. The old chicken coop sparkled like a palace. Every day he watched from different windows and new wintry scenes appeared. The pond froze into a shiny mirror. Lisa twirled on her skates and the goose and the gander slid to keep up. Oh, look, who's looking in the window here? It looks like the pigs. To Hedgie's amazement, one day Lisa rolled great balls of snow. Before he knew it, he was looking at his first snowman. He was getting sleepier, but each morning held a new surprise. Look, who's looking in the window here? The horse. And over here, we see a dog and a bird. The little hedgehog was dozing when he heard the tinkling of bells. <gasps> he tried with all his might and opened his eyes. There was the pony pulling a sleigh. Lisa made a snowball and tossed it in his direction. Kapoof! Oh, look, more animals looking in the window. Hedgie slept later every day. One day he awoke to see flowers of frost decorating his window. The trees looked like lace against the sky. I have truly seen winter, was Hedgie's last thought, as he nodded back to sleep. See the animals looking in the window? What are they looking at? I think they might be looking at Hedgie in the warm house. Lisa knew it was time. Leaving the door ajar, she cradled the little hedgehog. You belong in the wild, she whispered in his ear as she carried him through the dirt drifts. She crouched by his burrow and nestled him inside. Sweet dreams, little adventurer, she said.
Just then, she noticed the front door was swinging on its hinges. Squawks and rumbles were coming from inside. Oh no, what do you think happened? Lisa peered through the doorway and saw animals higgity-piggity making a commotion in her house. Each one was thinking, I'll see winter from a nice warm house. Out, 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 she skedaddled, she laughed. Don't you know this is not where you live? Lisa was shooing the last mouse from the house as Hedgie, snug in his burrow, fell into a deep sleep. He was dreaming about icicles and snowmen, snowflakes and pond ice. It was a long, snowy nap. And that's the end of our story, the snowy nap. Oh, look, look who's looking in the window. Lots of different animals. The snowy nap. Now... Snowy ends in the, our letter for today. That letter is the letter Y. Also, yawn. Hedgie was yawning a lot. Can you yawn? <sighs> Can you say yawn? Yawn begins with the letter Y. Let's sing our alphabet song and find out where Y comes in. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my A B C's. Next time, won't you sing with me? It came at the end. Can you think of some things like yawn? that begin with the letter Y? Let's go look for the letter Y. Let's go look for the letter Y. Let's go look for the letter Y. Way down yonder in the library. Picking up Y's and putting them in the basket. Picking up Y's and putting them in the basket. Picking up Y's and putting them in the basket. Way down yonder in the library. Okay, what color is this pom-pom? It is yellow. Yellow begins with the letter Y. Y yellow. And next, we have some yarn. Yarn begins with the letter Y. Y yarn. Next, we have a yo-yo. It's a toy which goes up and down on a string. Down and up. A yo-yo, back and forth. Okay, up next, we have a yield sign. See the Y? Yield means to let others pass. Go first. Oh. And next, some of you might like to eat yogurt. There's the Y at the beginning of yogurt. And next, this animal is a lot bigger, but this is a yak. It's a cow with lots of hair and horns. Yak begins with the letter Y. Speaking of, here's our capital Y and our lowercase y. Lots of things that begin with the letter y. Okay, let's see. We have books that also begin with the letter y. Yankee Doodle. There's the y at the beginning. Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle went to town, a riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his cap and called it macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle dandy. Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. 
Yankee Doodle begins with a Y. Oh, here we have your nose. Your has a Y at the beginning of it. Then we have ABC Yoga. Yoga is a type of relaxing exercise. Yoga begins with the letter Y. I dare you not to yawn. <sighs> yawn begins with the letter Y. Here we have Yertle the Turtle and other stories by Dr. Seuss. Yertle begins with a Y. Mr. Putter and Tabby spin the yarn. There's the word yarn begins with the letter Y. Yak's yak, animal word pairs. Yak, yak. Y and Y, oh, here's a Y. Yes and no. Yes begins with the letter Y. And finally, I will read to you. U begins with the letter Y. So those are all things that have the letter Y. Okay, now it's time to be a groundhog, or not a groundhog, a hedgehog. We'll be groundhogs in a couple weeks. Hedgehog, hedgehog, turn around. Hedgehog, hedgehog, touch the ground. Hedgehog, hedgehog, show your shoe. Hedgehog, hedgehog, that will do. Hedgehog, hedgehog, reach up high. Hedgehog, hedgehog, touch the sky. Hedgehog, hedgehog, don't you sigh. Hedgehog, hedgehog, wave goodbye. That's it for today. Have a great day and keep on reading.